Hi, well, picking up from the last um, of my how-tos, this one is looking at backgrounds again, using the option of tiles to make a continuous and seamless background. Picking out um, the colours and reusing the graphics from what would be your card topper. For this, we're going to go to a new image, click and we're going to have 2 inches by 2 inches. It's a good size to work with, particularly uh, with the screen. Click OK. So here I have my two 2 by 2 um, new images. One I'm going to call Seamless and one I've called Quick Tile. Now with the Seamless one, we're going to go into um, effects and we're going to pick up the tile option but firstly let's put a graphic on there we're going to have from tubes we're going to have a mouse fits nicely and we'll have one on there oops needs to be picked up a bit we are we've centralized that one back to seamless we're going to go to effects we're going to go to image effects and seamless we're going to take one of the default options and we'll click OK. At this point I've left the background transparent and there is a reason for that because we can alter what we put into the background of the background. Now we'll concentrate on quick tile. I'm going to do something different here because I'm going to put a border on because that adds to the effect of the tiling. So we're going to go to image we're going to go to add borders and we're going to clone a colour we could clone this colour or we could take that nice dark purple and click OK right I've put them side by side as you can see it has slightly increased in size because we have added the border but provided it's square it will still convert to a tile on this occasion I'm going to use um, a plugin plugins can be found on the internet and added to the program in the description on YouTube I will actually uh, put where you can find them right if we go down to quick tile, apply and then you can see how that has converted. Now I'm going to bring up um, an A4 image. Now this A4 image, do look, this is over 4 inches and slightly over 8 inches. This is half of an A4, so if you were making a greetings card, it would be one half. And remember, we're only working with 20% size, so we're seeing it a lot smaller than we would in reality. So we'll go to our materials, double click, look at our patterns, and on this occasion we're going to work with um, our quickie tile you see it's added anything we're working on is now added to those patterns we'll click OK um, it's straight at the moment the angle is straight and it's a scale of 37 I don't think it's going to be much to us until we look at it so we'll click OK using the pour tool we'll pour that in. To give us some perspective I have copied and pasted the original quickie tile that's the one with the border and I'm going to add it as a new layer. Remember you're seeing everything in quite miniature. Let's just look at that slightly 2 by 2 image and we take it up there you can see it is 2 by 2 let's bring it back I'm now going to take it from the corner and I'm going to enlarge it 
Right, I have enlarged it now, so it's approximately three by three inches, resting on an A5 card, which is just over eight and just over four inches, and will be half of an A4. So that gives you a perspective now of what the background looks like. Working with that background, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to delete it, I'm going back to the materials, and I'm going to slightly enlarge it, and I'm going to create an angle. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to pour that back into the background. And there we have it, slightly angled. So there's various things that you can actually do. You can, it's absolutely endless because you could actually have changed the colour here and picked out the yellow, for example. Now I'm going to take that background out again. And I'm going to go and use the other background that we have, the seamless one. That was Quickie, and this is Seamless. I'm going to use a 45 angle, and we're still on size and scale 46. Click OK, and we'll pour that one into the background. As you can see, I'm leaving the top graphic to give you perspective. Um, I mean, I wouldn't do that normally. You could actually add that graphic um, on the card as you're working with it, or you could make um, another sheet and cut them out and add them and layer them afterwards. Um, I'm going to add another layer to the background. And then I'm going to consider adding other things because we're now working with a transparent background. We can consider colouring that background course we could print on coloured paper but then you it does ruin the colours generally. Let's look at the perspective of um, putting a colour into the background. Um, we could go for that yellow. I love cloning. Okay and let's pour that one into the background. I pour it all and pour. Okay, what's happened now is we've got muddled layers. Right click, arrange, and send to the bottom. Well, that's certainly a bright, fun card. You could certainly do lots of that, put text on it. Um, a child's card, particularly. So let's delete that background and have another play. Right, back to our materials again. And this time we'll put in a gradient. We'll look for something that complements it. The, ra the rainbow would be fun. And don't forget, we can angle these rainbows. Um, well, let's just angle them just for the fun of it. Click OK. And we're working on that raster there so we know it's going to go to the bottom. just look how that builds up that that really is quite fun and you can actually blend that down a bit blend that one down save on ink I mean you don't want vibrant colors you just want a gentle wash in the background how time passes when you're enjoying yourself very quickly copy merged Bring up your A4, copy and paste, or Control and L, and there is your completed card. There we are, dragged to the um, right hand side, fold your card in half, and just how beautiful is that one? An endless stream of combinations. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Good luck and happy crafting.